Behind the net. Dartmouth now. First shot on net, and it's a goal. Looked like Emily Quinn, number 13, with her first goal of the afternoon. We'll have to see who the assist went to on the replay, Big E. But at the 23 40 mark, Emily Quinn has put the Indians up one goal to nothing. Yeah, good uh, opportunity by her there. Couldn't see who the assist was, but she was able to. Fired in. Quinn has been putting in work uh, this uh, season so far. She um, scored six goals in the first victory uh, over Martha's Vineyard. Four goals and an assist against New Bedford. And three goals in the draw with Bishop Stang. Oh, the faceoff won by... The Indians, Quinn, what a pass, on the move. Shot, sometimes I'll just throw out the general violation call. That shot bounded into the net. A good shot, Ethan, you always want to aim for the feet, tough to defend, and we'll have to see on the replay the number of the shooter. That was Emily Quinn once again, her second goal on the afternoon to tie us up at three. So Quinn, who had six Let's in the first see her matchup. Come in. Oh, what a fake. Beautiful move against two defenders. Emily Quinn, why? And that's Danielle Barnum. Barnum gives way. Look like Quinn with that signature step to the right, finish at the feet of the keeper, and it's a goal for Emily Quinn. The hat trick here in the first half, in the first 10 minutes of the first half, he. Third of the afternoon for the sophomore. Wow, wow. She's able to switch hands with the stick, E. And then so accurate with the shot, always at the feet near the corner of the net. Flying Daniels is close to the face. And then probably another stick of penalty on the Quinn that time. so easily all the way to the net and finishes. So Emily Quinn with her fourth, Ethan. Anytime you see Quinn around the net, 
with a one-on-one -on -one chance. She's going to score. She's just too good with the stick handling. She's got four here today. And really, for, if you're Dartmouth, I think you've got to feed her the ball. Leading scorer is uh, Ellie Quinn. Check that Emily Quinn leading the way for Dartmouth with four goals. Well, you better add a fifth, Ethan, because while you were looking at your score sheet, Quinn with a fifth goal, the go-ahead for the Indians. So Quinn with five. You can see from the replay, that's what she does, get in the middle of the field, able to finish. And Quinn, let's see if Quinn looks to just force the action here and score her sixth goal. Looks like she'll look to pass. Quinn. Nope, attacks the net, fakes left, moves right. And yeah, she draws a penalty. I really don't see why that's not the offense on every single possession, Ethan. It's really impossible to stop Emily Quinn. Same situation, kind of played it slow and then said, I'm going to go around the net and then let me show you what I really got. Shoot. Looked like she was looking at the opening from Seamus. Couldn't find her though. No, she's not going to. Uh, she's not going to show us this I'm time around. She'll give it up. Quinn be able to get that one out of traffic. And that's Quinn. What does she do best? Uh, Defended this time. All yeah, right. Good defense. Hargy, but Quinn too tough. Emily Quinn sticks with it. Sixth goal of the afternoon. A four goal advantage for Dartmouth. With seven minutes to go, she now leads all scorers with uh, six. A good way to defend uh, the territory by Quinn. And many times you saw the defensive uh, deflection, but she was able to pick it right back up. And uh, Vineyard just wasn't able to finish the job that time. Yeah, pretty cool by Quinn. She came to her right, Ethan, switched to the right side, took a shot. It was deflected. She said, okay, you can stop my right hand this time. Let me show you my left went the other way and was able to finish 